Can you spot them? Can you spot the bad player in this crowd? What? No? Well, of course you can't. Unless you're an expert like me, you can't easily decipher who exactly out there is a bad player in 14. Sometimes it's not as easy as pointing out players and just being like, Hey, you see that cat girl over there? Yeah, she's bad. Soon you'll go from looking dumb like this to a brand new player, perhaps. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. Probably no changes at all, actually. Bruh. Today, I'll be teaching you how to spot bad players so you can ever stop yourself from adding them into your raid groups or make them your ERP partners. I don't judge. Five ways to spot bad 14 players. And while we're at it, I can give you guys a quick guide on how to spot good players of 14. Um, one, if they use raid macros, and uh, two, if they're not from North America. All right, well, on to the real guide now. Number one sign is glamour. Of course, if you're wearing the best clothes, people will know that you're a good player. And if you don't wear good clothes, then we'll automatically know that you're not good at all. Fashion is the end game, and raiding is only second to that. We only raid to get glam, and then we get the glam to flex. We call this the circle of flexing. Ain't that right, Mr. Shoebill? Glamour is better than raiding. I think he's a little shy right now. He's usually talkative. I brought a friend who can help me look for bad players, so Lena, take it away. Hi guys, I'm Lena. To spot bad players in Final Fantasy XIV, you must- Just kidding, look at Lena's drip. You think I'll trust her ass for any advice? Instead, listen to me. Observe. Now this, boys, is peak glamour. Do I look good, Mr. Shoebill? I'll take that as a yes. Now, this excellent outfit is gonna show everyone that you're a top tier good player. I mean, just look at me, I'm whooping ass in this outfit and I look damn good. No more excuses. Now get this outfit if you're looking to impress everyone out there in 14. And you too can own this chicken outfit for $5 USD at the Final Fantasy Online Store, so get it now. I should really get a sponsor by them. The next way you can tell if somebody's a bad player is by the title they use. And don't worry, before you get all overwhelmed about, oh, there's so many titles out there, a majority of them are fine to use. Living memory is a great one. Trusted friend, I mean, what could go wrong with somebody you can trust? There are so many great titles out there, and how you can find out which ones are actually the worst one is the easiest thing you could spot. Anybody that has legend in their title is automatically the worst player in the game. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you stupid Lalafell. Oh, don't don't give me that stupid ass pity shit. I, I'm not gonna believe your lies. I don't care. Oh yeah, yeah, ooh, keep being mad. Oh yeah, I'm so scared. Man, I'm about to break my foot up in your ass, I swear. And if you're new to 14, wondering why are we always hating and making fun of legend players? It's because these same players will clear the hardest content in the game to get these titles, but then throw my Titan runs <laughs> every single time. Look at them stand there doing nothing. Disgusting. The next way you can tell who's a bad player in 14 is based on the icon they use next to their name. Here are some common icons I've seen used, but honestly, I've only really seen three of these on this list being used at all times. And let's go ahead and do a quick breakdown of each icon. The crown icon. Now, this looks cool at first, but what it really tells you is that this person works at Burger King and they don't have time to play this game, so therefore, they're not really a good player at this game, so avoid them at all costs. The chair icon. Now, this means that this player is currently taking a rest from all the people that they have to carry around around them. And if you somehow manage to get this player off that chair emote, I commend you because <laughs> because I'm not gonna lie, I don't think they're ever getting off that damn emote. The sprout icon means that this player has a lot of room to grow and have huge potential to become a great player. If you lose this, that means you've already hit your peak and you are now no longer a good player. I'm sorry, but you just peaked and now you are just bad. And if you can tell, I don't actually have this either because um, I'm, I'm bad too, so. Last one I'll go over right now is RP, which stands for Really Powerful Player. And if you so happen to hear them talk about ERP, that means the Extremely Powerful Player, so get close to them because they're really strong. The trade-off of playing with these really strong players is the fact that you have to deal with them being very touchy and saying a lot of funny things to you, but you know what? I, I think it's fair to indulge them so you can get a free carry from these players. And you know, sometimes the, uh, the attention's kind of nice, so um, lovely. And finally, the last way you can tell if somebody's a bad player is if they play Black Mage. Wait a second. And that's all I have for you today in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I hope today's video really helped you learn about, um... Actually, I think I ruined you guys more than I did help. Sorry, my bad. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video where I talk about ERP and how to do it. Right, just let me look it up first on how to do it in it. Wait. ERP stands for... It means what now?